Car owners love the latest technologies and are usually quick to jump on the bandwagon when something new and cool is introduced. One of the more common questions we receive at TireVan is this, is nitrogen better than regular air to pressurize tires? Before we give you our answer, let's learn a little more about what we're talking about and discuss some of the supposed benefits of pressurizing with nitrogen. Normal air is made up of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen with some water vapor, CO2, and small concentrations of other gases. Nitrogen used in tires is 95% plus nitrogen, very little oxygen, and no water vapor. So why would someone use nitrogen over regular air in their tires? Here are some of the claims made for using nitrogen in tires. First, nitrogen takes longer to migrate through rubber walls than oxygen, so it may maintain tire pressure longer, which improves fuel efficiency. Nitrogen also can reduce oxidation and corrosion on the inside of the tire, as well as dissipate heat better, extending the life of your tire. While some of these benefits are clearly worthwhile in extreme tire applications like fighter jets and space shuttles, the evidence so far is that they probably don't make a big difference to the average driver. Why, you ask? First, tires are mounted in ambient air, so there's never just pure 95% plus nitrogen inside. And if you top off your tire pressure with normal air, you're adding more oxygen. Bottom line, there's always some oxygen inside. It's never pure nitrogen. Second, Many shops use moisture filters to cut down on moisture in pressurized air. So H2O corrosion and oxidation are already reduced and nitrogen has less of a real benefit. Also, as long as you check your tire pressure once a quarter or so, you won't notice any noticeable benefit in fuel efficiency because you can't lose much pressure in short period of time using normal pressurized air. And if you use nitrogen, you need to check your pressure regularly because even nitrogen leaks through a puncture or faulty valve. Another reason we are skeptical is that the biggest promoters of nitrogen are nitrogen equipment manufacturers. We aren't aware that any major fleet owners like UPS or FedEx have decided to use nitrogen. They would have a huge incentive to use it if nitrogen's benefits were real. Finally, while nitrogen won't hurt your tires, it's probably not worth the extra 30 bucks charged by many shops. So while the decision to use nitrogen is up to you, we're skeptical there is much worthwhile benefit from using it in our everyday vehicles. If you'd like more information on tire pressurization or other topics, visit tirevan.com today. You can also stay up to date on the latest trends in the tire industry by joining one of our social networks, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for watching.